Hey guys, it's Di, and I have one more makeup look for you guys that is a pre-fall makeup look, and this one is kind of like my Dior makeup look because it's made up primarily of Dior items, and especially items that I got were from the Fall 2012 collection. So real quick, I'll just go through the items that I used for this, and I did use my Bare Minerals Foundation and Bare Minerals Mineral Veil for this, and I might not always use that as my foundation or my, like, base for my face, but that's what I used today, and I also used my Bare Minerals, Bare Essentials brushes for those, so um, I do really like, especially in the winter, my HD foundation from Makeup Forever. But anyhow, I wore the Bare Minerals today because it's a little bit warm outside. And then for cheeks, I used the Dior Awakening blush, and this is just a little bit bright for like the middle of winter, but I don't mind wearing this for pre-fall. It just gives you kind of a natural flush, and I would probably try to darken this up with NARS Dossier um, and just use a little bit of this to kind of put on the apples in my cheeks in the warmer months, but I do really love this, and going out of summer, I still want to wear this a little bit because it's a really gorgeous color. It's not as bright as it looks in the pan for sure. And then, as always, I use my Too Faced Pink Leopard Bronzer for contouring a little bit and Too Faced Candlelight for a little bit of highlighting. And then on to the fun stuff. So for my eyes, I used the Dior palette, the Golden Savannah palette that's new for fall 2012. And it's got a lot of great colors in it. This is actually upside down. So when I show the swatches over to the side, I'll try to make sure it's right side up like this. The only one I don't really feel is usable is this one in the center here. It's very glittery. And I tried to highlight a little bit with it today, but honestly, um, it... It really kind of made me nervous because I wear contacts and I don't like having any sort of fallout that could get down into um, my eyes and mess up with my contacts. So I don't know how much I'll be using that one, but the colors that I use today are the two here on the right. And this top one is just a really nice kind of golden tan color and it looks really, really gorgeous. And what I used for my base was actually not in this because there's not a really that many light colors in this. So all the way across my lid up to my brow, I used Urban Decay's Sin, and this is also in the regular Naked palette, just to kind of give my eyelids kind of a nice base, and I just like to have a reading even. So that's what I used there. And then you can see it kind of goes nicely with that tan color, which is actually on the right side whenever it is right side up. But I used this tan color here on my lid all the way across and into my crease. And then this color that is down here in the right corner, that's what I used in my crease to kind of darken it up. And it is quite a dark color, but it blends out really nicely and has just a little bit of a metallic sheen to it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it here, but I'll try to do some swatches over here to the side. And so even though it's fairly dark, I still really like it because because it blends out so nicely. And all of these colors, they blend out really, really well, but you can see that they look kind of scary in the pan, like, oh my gosh, are these gonna be too dark? But once you really start working with them and blending them out, I'm hoping the shimmeriness will kind of come through, um, through the camera, I'm not sure. But especially like this tan one that I used across my lid, is really a gorgeous shimmery color. So I'm really loving this palette, and I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of it over the cooler fall months. And then also I used for my lips from the fall 2012 Dior line. This is Wild and it's just kind of a nice bronzy kind of pink beige color. I'm running out of space in my hand here. And it comes off a little bit darker on my lips so for kind of pre-fall before it's really that cold outside, what I'm going to do, I'm a gloss addict so I always wear gloss over my lipsticks anyways, but I'm using 157 over it and it just lightens it up a little bit and I think kind of those two go well together. So again, I'll try to put all of these swatches over to the side so that way you can see them a little bit closer up. But to finish it off, I did use Dior Show Waterproof Mascara and I think this bottle is getting ready to be need to be tossed because I had quite a bit of flakage and it really wasn't looking how I wanted it to. So to be honest, I did also go over just my top lashes with this Fairy Drop Scandal Queen um, mascara, which I really love. 
and I talked about in a video like a couple months ago, but if you guys haven't seen this wand applicator, it's, it's really kind of interesting. So that is what I used for mascara, the Dior Show and the Scandal Queen, and then used Ulta Eyeliner. So that is everything. So I'm loving Dior right now. I have a couple items on the way to me from the Nordstrom anniversary sale and that are Nordstrom exclusives. So I can't wait to share those with you guys when they get here. And thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.